Welcome to Our World Hour of Power show. I'm Lady Pauline and my co-host Mr. Glenn Greenwich, the Honorable Mayor of Southern Boulevard. How are you today, Glenn? I am great. I am great. It's a great day, a beautiful day outside. Yeah, and I also would like to let everybody know that you're listening to Our World Media Network. And we're also on WGJSRadio.com. And let's start the show. Well, we have a wonderful guest today, Mr. T.L. Holmes, who is a marketing strategist and a social media expert. T.L. Holmes, how are you? How are you guys doing? I am fantastic. Good. Welcome I am doing to our wonderful. World. Welcome to our love world. Love it. I love it here. I love it here. Listen, the intro was amazing. Yeah, you like that. I was there. Huh? Well, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you have to give, um, you know, that to my son. The he producer. Put, he put it together. Awesome. It's a more awesome job. Yeah, awesome job. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. so tell, us, tell us a little bit about, uh, about your business. Well, um, I am the um, CEO of, president of Nexus Media Enterprises. Okay. And we are a, um, a marketing firm um, right. that um, deal with, you know, marketing consulting, um, deal with a lot of strategy development. Um, and recently we have um, ventured into um, developing marketing software. Oh, wow. Um, one wow. of the things that we recognize doing... Um, the pandemic is that, you know, a lot of businesses was challenged. Okay. A lot of um, ministries and churches was challenged uh, with, you know, having to just all of a sudden, you know, not doing social media. And then all of a sudden you weren't going to survive without <laughs> doing without social it. media. Yes. Yes. And so we wanted to, we had two questions that, that we were approached with. Do we give the answer or do we be the answer? Okay. And so we just decided to do both. Okay. Um, so we um, started, you know, working on developing and creating marketing software such as, you know, SEO software and backlink software um, and stuff of that nature um, to help, you know, companies and businesses um, be able to streamline, you know, traffic to their, their businesses, to their products um, a lot more efficiently and a, a lot more effectively. Okay. So back up a little bit and, and say a little bit more. You said EL software and so, so distinguish, so distinguish the, the, uh, the types of software that people would need mm -hmm. to be uh, effective on social media. Yeah. So SEO stands for search engine optimization. optimization. Okay. Um, and so we um, do SEO engineering uh, with, with clients. Uh, we're working with some, you know, wonderful clients now. Um, doing the back end of their social media content. Um, so, so that's the the meta tags and and yeah, so and the meta and tags, the keywords, okay, um, long tail, short tail, you know, okay. all of those different things, backlinks, okay, um, because the the internet is called the World Wide Web, right, 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 um, and so you know one of the things that that activate the web are keywords, okay, um, and so a lot of people don't understand that you know you have to. Um, have the right type of keywords that describes your company or your website so that when people um, tag or look for, look for keywords, it tags your website. The web sends out crawlers when someone puts in a, in a keyword in the Google um, Drive or the, the um, Yahoo search. And you put the keyword and you see a drop down that comes in, right. comes down. Those are all the keywords that people are searching at that moment. Okay that may relate to what you're searching for at the same time. So it's advantageous to have as many keywords that are kind of cueing your particular subject area. It's important to have the right keywords. The right keywords, right? yes. Um, because the internet searches, when you put your keyword in, it searches for, when someone put, puts a keyword in, it searches for that keyword. And so what you want to also do is when you're building your meta tag, I know we're speaking a lot of jargon, mm -hmm. um, but if you have a, um, a webmaster, they should know these, this type of jargon, right? Um, when you have your, when you create your keywords, the key thing that people understand is you must embed your keywords in your site. In your site. And okay. the way that you do that is you put that in your about us page. Okay. Um, you put that in your on your home page. You put you know key, your keywords in the site so that when someone puts in certain keywords, it automatically crawls to your website. T T L, do you do you think that most people know about that? 
a lot of people don't. Okay. Um, and, and, and so what happens is, um, and, I, and I tell people, you want to make sure that you, even though you may not be an expert or, you know, may not be skilled in certain areas, you want to make sure that you're educated in certain areas so that when you do hire a professional that you understand what they're doing and you know what to look for right and you know what they're not doing absolutely okay. absolutely um so some of the some of the things that you want to make sure and i really really i really really push this and you know since the um the since the pandemic the government in america or uh, united states have you know, also started mandating that um, social media sites and started mandating that websites have certain things attached to it to, because a lot of not, now times people are paying attention more because they're home more. Right, they're right. All, so where you was on social media probably 30% of the time, now you're on social media probably 70% of the time. That's because true. Because you're home, you're not able to go anywhere. So that's, that's become your entertainment. That's become, you know, your social, your social, yeah, your socialization activities and stuff yeah. like that and how you communicate with everyone. And so um, the United States um, have a law um, called, you know, um, website ADA law. Oh, really? Um, and it's American Disability Act. Okay. Um, because a lot of times, you know, you have, you know, disabled individuals that have to peruse on websites, online especially now. Sure. You have more of them having to operate online. And so you need to make sure that your websites are ADA um, compliant. Really? Okay. That's a major, major thing. Um, and that's one of the services that we provide. We've de developed software to um, help websites um, become compliant and compliant pending. Um, because in, in the flip side of that, just like you have buildings that have to be ADA compliant, right, yeah. um, the government is requiring websites to be ADA Make compliant um, so that it caters to a certain demographic of disabled individuals. Um, so that's, that's, it's, it's, it's a lot. I know it's a lot. But however, these things help your business thrive in these moments, right? Right. Um, because if you start making sure that your website is compliant, what happens is Google, Yahoo, you know, those different search engines, they're going to make sure that people go to your site first. Okay. Because, because you're of, compliant. Because you're compliant. Oh, got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. And, and, and honestly, you, there, you, can, you can get in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're not compliant, you know, and the government is cracking down on, on those things. So, you know, it was advantageous for us to not only give the information, but be the answer as well. Yeah, so. yeah that's great. Yeah. TL, you had mentioned the software. Mm -hmm. Now, is the software very expensive? Um, it's really moderate um, to basically what you, what you are um, applying the software to. Um, so there are websites out there that may be five pages, and then there are websites out there that may be 200 pages. So it's really, you know, geared towards, you know, what um, type of product you have um, that we're providing that service for. You, you know, I was watching um, a business presentation. The Small Business Development Center actually was supporting some entrepreneurs, and they were, used, they were showing you how to use, was it SD? Um, online, it's an online uh, product, E-S-T-Y or something. Um, but anyway, it's, it's a, a product. And so one of the things, going back to the meta tags that you were talking about, so they said, well, yes, you may be um, offering um, uh, hair care products. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, your, your website or your product offering or category would be that. But they also said that on each of your product, you should also say something specific to that as well Absolutely. to make sure you get the, the I guess, the tagging mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that's necessary. So that is a very important part of the search engines. Absolutely. SD is a, is a service that you can, you know, become a member of and sell product through, right? Product through, um, right. And so yeah. one of the things that you also want to do, and we're going we're gonna to give some good nuggets today, okay? Okay. Um, when you're building your website and you have a product line, you want to tag your product picture. Right. Okay. You tag your picture because you connect a direct link. It's called a backlink to that picture. So if someone, let's say you have a picture of um, um, 
uh, oil that you mm -hmm. that you have made, right? Right. That's your product, mm -hmm. and you put the name of that oil. You want to tag that picture with the name of that oil. Okay. And make sure you name your product, but you also name the name of your product, but you also name what the product is. So if the if it's an oil, you put banana oil. Right. If it's a you know comb, banana oil comb. Right. You right. you want to make sure that that. Um, keyword it, or that met, that's called a meta tag is properly facilitated for for that particular picture because again that connects it to your site but it also connects it to whatever keyword a person puts in for you know when they're searching on the line online now now I know what but the uh, search engine optimization mm -hmm. the whole point of that is so that your page or your website comes up on the first page of uh, query. Mm -hmm. So if I go into Google and such, and I yes, tag in um, hair care mm -hmm. that we talked about, and so that if you're if you're properly optimized, mm -hmm. then you would show up in the in the first, hopefully in the first page uh, of that. Absolutely. Now, now, what are the kinds of things um, b besides the meta tagging can get you that kind of priority. So you talked about the disability. You talked about the meta tag. Mm -hmm. um, you talked about the back, back backlinks. Backlinks. Yes, sir. Are there anything else that uh, that uh, um, your company focuses on to getting people that 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 uh, optimization that they need? Well, um, one of the things that we try to urge our clients to do is have the have a good story. A good story, right? Okay. Because um, mm -hmm. you can get technical, right? Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people don't pay attention to all the technical jargon. They want to know that it's available and that it works, right? Okay. Um, and why it works, and why should I, you know, um, why should I purchase it, right? And so you want to make sure that you know you um, tell the story of your product and allow you know for testimonials and, and stuff of that nature. One of the things that uh, we um, urge our clients to do is not to be the best kept secret. <laughs> I'm gonna say that one more time. <laughs> you never want to be the best kept secret in business. You wanna be out there. Yes, yeah. yes you do. Uh, yeah. Yes you do. I wrote a book um, called Unidentified, um, Unlocking the Power of Your Brand. Um, and a lot of times, you know, people, you know, they, they want to be subdued and, you know, humble and I get it. I yeah, lay it. low. You know, lay low, all that stuff, mm -hmm. but you going to stay broke. <laughs> Trying to lay low, right? Um, you so so in order to do that, you have to make sure uh, and I break it up into three components. You know, you want to make sure you're prepared properly. You know your product, your product does work. Um, your product is needful. It meets a need, right? Mm -hmm. Um so you want to make sure you're properly prepared. Um then you want to make sure you're properly packaged. Okay. Okay, a lot of times people package stuff that's not prepared properly, right? Mm -hmm. um, so you're taking pictures and you don't even know what the color scheme is, right? Wow. Um, and you, you're putting a logo on something that, that, that is not prepared properly. Mm -hmm. um, it's not ready for a logo. Right. You know, right, and right. so you want to make sure that you are prepared properly and that you're packaged properly. And then the third stage is that you're presented properly. Okay. A lot of times people pre present something that's not packaged right, and they package something that's not prepared properly. And so you put yourself in, in kind of a, 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 a hole out the gate. Um, you want to make sure that you do the things properly when, you, when you're presenting a product to you know, consumers, um, that it, it, it does what you say it does. Um, and that it looks like it does what, it's, what you it's say it does, does. right? Yeah. Um, and you want to get it to the masses, mm -hmm. right? So you want to, you know, after you have proven your product and it works and it produces results or whatever it is, um, you want to tell the story. You want to tell the story and you want other people to tell the story. Does um, your clients come to you and ask you for the whole package? You know, help me put together my business? We, we prefer it that way. Okay. Um, we, we call it the 360 solution. Um, you know, because again, you can you can um, grab this over here, or you can grab this over here, and try to you know um, Jimmy rig a, 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 
a, a product or a car, it's not gonna, you know, look right. right? You'll yeah. say, okay, yeah. that's not your bumper, or or yeah. that tire belongs to a different car, car, right? Yeah. And so you want to make sure that when you go to your, your car lot, you drive off with one car that's made, with all the pieces made for that that car. Uh, we look at it from from a standpoint of, of puzzle pieces, I call it, um, and. What do you think the, the one purpose of a puzzle is? What would you say the one purpose of a puzzle is? It's to connect. Connect okay. properly. What do you say? Yeah, I would say finding the pieces. Because uh, if a piece is not there, sometimes I do that with my granddaughter. Uh -huh. I'll take a piece out. <laughs> got you, got you. And she can't find to finish the rest of the puzzle, you know. And, but I have it tucked away, you know. I said, well, where's that piece, you know. So I, I want him to identify, you know, you got to find that piece. Uh -huh. you know? One of the things that we do, we do workshops, we do public speaking, and we, you know, do motivational speaking. And, and I have a session that I talk about puzzle pieces. Mm -hmm. And we have all these factories all over the world that's in, pos in position to make puzzle pieces. Mm -hmm. And there is only one purpose of a puzzle. I don't care if it's 300 pieces, I don't care if it's 3,000 pieces, I don't care if it's 300,000 pe pieces. It's, it, a puzzle only serves one purpose, and that's to make one picture. Mm -hmm. yeah. And a lot of times we, we, when, we, when we're running our businesses, you got the vision in your head, but you don't have the pieces in your hand. Okay. And even though you have pieces in your hand or you have friends or family or, you know, individuals you went to school with, um, you, you, as, the, as the puzzle master, your job is to find the right piece to your puzzle. Mm -hmm. You may have people that's even working with you that belong to somebody else's puzzle. Wow. You may have somebody that's working with you that, 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 that if there was a puzzle they're, and they're blue, you may have them in the sky when they're actually the water. Mm-hmm they're in the wrong place and they can't function to their highest capacity because they're not in the right place in your business. Right. You have them as an accountant and they don't know how to count. Right. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Oh, and, yeah. You know, and, and, and you have them as your project manager and they don't show up to work on time. True. You know, so it, it, it puts a hindrance and that's what, I'm te that's what I'm saying when I say package your business or prepare, you know, prepare for your business properly. We're not just talking about what your business look like. We're also talking about what your business is. Okay. Right. Um, you want to make sure that when you're building your team, that you're building your team with the one picture that you have in your head in mind so that everything fits and everything operates together. Can you, can you imagine trying to force that piece in, in, in that Yeah, in that sometimes spot. I've done not, that. I'm, I have yeah, done that. <laughs> yeah, and, and so what happens is you, you force it so much until you bend it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then when you realize sure. that it's, it's, not, it's not that the right piece, piece, and then you put it where it goes, then it still don't fit. <laughs> right, because you've bent it out yeah, of shape. You know, yeah. okay. So, so I, and, and again, I love, I love the question. Yes, it, it's about you know, putting together a holistic approach uh, when we look at businesses and branding and stuff of that nature. Well, we're going we're gonna to take a station break, pay some bills. We'll be right back with T.L. Holmes, our marketing strategist and social media expert. We'll be right back. But first, are you a small business owner looking for solutions? TMI and Partners is a business solution company offering operational, branding, and financial solution. For only $9.99 a month, your company will be assigned a personal business advisor. Well, that's right, only $9.99 per month, no contract, and you're on your way. Call TMI at 347 Two three four five three zero four. Well, that's three four seven two three four five three zero four. Or visit their website at tmium.com. Tomorrow, the world will know your business. Is that it, guys? Hello. Did I do good? New York State's largest African-American Chamber of Commerce, known as LIAACC, is now accepting new membership candidates. LIAACC has appeared on WABC, Here and Now, NBC's Positively Black, WLIW21, FIOS1, and in Long Island Business News. Membership consists of a variety of men and women of distinction who have been bestowed some of the most prestigious awards in the region. We host monthly membership meetings and signature events, including the Long Island African-American Business Expo, Annual Health Fair, Ladies of LIAACC Annual Women's History Month program and our annual Black History Month art exhibition. Join by simply logging on to our easy new membership sign-up portal at www.liaacc.org. 
Hi, this is attorney Stephen G. James. We've been practicing law at this law firm for over 30 years. I'm a former assistant prosecutor in Kings County and currently a defense attorney to serve you better. We work harder to serve you better. So just call us for the lawyers you can trust. 646-905-9000. 646-905-7001. We're located on Sutphin Boulevard, right near Hillside here in Jamaica, Queens, New York for over 30 years serving the community. The law firm of Stephen G. James. Thank you. Hi, my name is Maya Delgado and I am the brand ambassador of Kids Break Down. And this is my demo video. Enjoy! Download app on Google Play or App Store. Create account. Choose avatar. Enter Kids Break Down Roadmap. Roadmap consists of math, spelling, memorization, and matching mini games. After each mini game, personality and interest questions will appear to pinpoint which job may suit you best. After completion of all eight mini games, you will be presented with jobs you may want to learn more about. Read fun facts about all the different types of jobs within the law, science, and arts career. Use your gold bricks to make your job environment fully complete. Go back and play mini games to earn more bricks if needed. I hope you enjoyed the Kids Breakdown demo video. Make sure to download today and share with your friends. This platform will pave the way for kids who are just like me, the groundbreakers of tomorrow. My daughter started making necklaces. She makes what we call affirmation fashion. I tell her every day that your black is beautiful. Your black is beautiful. Your black is beautiful. And if there's anything better than being beautiful, it's being smart. And if there's anything better than being smart, it's being kind. And reaffirming that every day is our method of making sure her chin never drops. Well, we're back here with T.L. Holmes. Mr. Holmes, I would like to ask you a particular question. Okay. How long have you been doing this type of business and what inspired you to do it? Wow, great question. Um, I've been in the uh, marketing, um, entertainment marketing um, um, business for since 05, officially as my own company, but I've worked in the entertainment industry um, for started in ninety eight. Okay, so it's um, been a while. Yeah, it's been a minute. I'm still twenty one though. <laughs> uh, no, that's right. <laughs> you still look it. <laughs> it's so uh, so it it's it's been it's been a while and we started out as as media concepts group and um, we've evolved um, into doing multiple you know things in the marketing space um, such as you know. Um, marketing strategies, um, development, um, such as, you know, um, design work. Um, then we started going into um, doing designs for, for individuals and, and marketing campaigns and billboards, and, and then we needed to do commercials, right? Right, um, right. And so, you know, doing commercials, we started building that part of our business out. Um, and then, you know, working with, you know, um, with artists and, and record labels, um, as we started out doing, it um it really you know morphed into us having to do more than just design work right okay. uh, we started des designing and 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 printing um vehicle wraps for oh for really artists. yeah okay yeah okay. We, um, we, well that's marketing that yeah, is marketing yeah yeah, yeah. It, was, it was interesting one one of our clients we actually it, it was funny story. we actually uh, rented a vehicle for a month just like like a rent, rental car, mm -hmm. uh, we rented it for a month, a truck, and we wrapped it. Wow. And so they were promoting a, a live recording, and they drove it around for the month. For the month, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, it was paid for. It was right. yeah. and it was wrapped. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so with with wrapping vehicles, it's, it's basically like saran wrap. So when we took it back, we took the wrap off, mm -hmm. and it was like brand new. Wow. No scratches, no dents, no anything. Um, and so they was they was tickle pink about that. Um, but it's all about providing the solution, right? 
Um, and the good thing was when, you know, we, the event came, mm-hmm. um, it was sold out. Um, Excellent. You know, and, you know, they had, you know, probably th- twelve to 15,000 people there. Wow. Um, yeah. Nice. So, you know, um, it, 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 again, it's about providing the total solution. And, you know, so I, I really love what I do. And I think, you know, now the transition in my life is really um, not necessarily just doing it for people, but teaching them how, how to do it. We have, um, we're developing, you know, um, marketing courses as well, video courses and training. Mm-hmm trainings to teach people how to use social media, you know, teach people how to use certain marketing um, um, software and stuff of that nature. So those are a lot of things that we have coming down the pipeline. For I, I know also, TL, that you do, um, you work and do films. Yes. And documentaries and stuff yes. like that. Yes. How did that come about? I'm very oh interested gosh. in it's, that. It's, it, it, was, it was interesting um, because it, it was also a, a, a natural evolution, right? Um, we started, you know, producing music videos and doing live DVD concerts, um, productions, and uh, we worked with some incredible artists, um, major artists, independent artists. Um, and and it, it just, you know, became a part of you know, what we love to do. Um, because again, with, with marketing, marketing is just managing people's perception, right? Right, And true. you know, and, and so with um, the music videos that we would do, I would find myself writing treatments that was like a movie, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, it, it, like a short film. And so when we were doing those things, it just, you know, became just a part of, of our fabric. And you know, one, one day the light just came on, like this is what you need to be doing. Uh, my purpose in life, the reason why I wake up every single day, is to impact the lives of people in a positive way. Um, and I look for opportunities to do that. And when I looked at it, you know, the Lord just revealed to me, like, listen, I've given you tools in your hands for you to accomplish your goal. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so we use marketing, media, um, production, film, television to do just that. Um, and I call it producing responsible media. Um, so, you know, and I think that's our responsibility as professionals is make sure that we're responsible and we're producing things that, that, you know, can promote, you know, advancement, that can promote, you know, confidence, that can give people tools or insight on, you know, different questions they may have and not talk about, you know. Um, and so, yes, we um, shot our first um, documentary last year. Um, in 2020 uh, um, on um, COVID. Yes, I was um, reading your bio and uh, I, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, that must have been very interesting It to was do. interesting. I started not to do it. I kept getting some nudges from some somebody interesting. I'm not going to say their name. Okay. Um, but, you know, they urged us to talk to the individual as a doctor um, out, of, out of Brooklyn. And um, he, he, he came to work, you know, went, left, left work one week. And they probably had like three or five, three to five people that died, you know, in in the, you know, um, ER. Mm-hmm. Um, came to work that Monday and had 50 people die that day. Wow. And that was when the pandemic, we became the epicenter. Mm-hmm. New York became the epicenter of the pandemic. And he witnessed it, you know, firsthand. And, um, and you know, I was like, I don't want to do nothing no about COVID. I don't want to catch COVID. <laughs> um, and so we did have the conversation with them, and it was just so um, invigorating and, and, and just just so many facets to, to, to his story um, that it really was intriguing. And, and, yeah, so we, you know, got our, um, our crew together and, you know, pulled every, put everybody hands on deck, and we was able to... Um, produce a, a high quality product um, that I think is really going to um, really rock rock society when we're, when we're able to release it. So where did you do this filming at? In New York, in okay. New York City. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Um, the, the name of it is called More Than Essential, um, mm. Behind the Front Line. And so we really get a chance to go and talk to the people that was working, that's working behind the front line. Um, and it talks about, you know, different facets of what really is happening. And, and we get different viewpoints from, you know, healthcare workers, from city officials, 
um, and you know individuals that really have their hands on it and just get a first hand view you know like a point of view like we're looking from the outside right mm -hmm. but you know they are inside the house looking looking yes. looking and from inside so out looking it's a, out. it's a it's a really diff different perspective and um we 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 got picked up in three film festivals last year um, and so um, this year we're able to um, land our first, you know, um, streaming deal um, with Dry Gyro Rub TV. And um, we are very, very excited to premiere it. We're going to premiere it here in New York. Um, oh, excellent. And we, we had a lot of people, you know, that, that played, a, played a part in it. Um, some of your local officials were associate producers on it. Uh, we have, you know, um, just had a lot of fun with it. Um, and and it, hopefully, you know, we get a lot of support um, just so that we could, you know, be in a position to do um, some other projects that we're that we're currently working on as well. You know, you know, one of the things about COVID that um, I don't know, surprising is the right word, but um, it illuminated essential workers mm -hmm. and it illuminated us as a people in terms of how many essential positions that we have you know yes. um i've always thought of teachers as essential workers mm -hmm. um it took covid to, to now label them and to presence it oh yes um you know the the person's working um uh bagging your groceries mm -hmm. as essential workers yes. you know and then of course the healthcare workers who are so vital to uh this conversation in covid are now looked upon as sen essential workers so uh, you know this whole process has as a society has taken us aback and had us actually reevaluate what is really important and what are the important positions and to see that a lot of uh, black and brown folks are are the ones in these essential positions yes you know it's kind of like i knew that 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 we had the importance and of course, I, I'm you know as a businessman, I'm always looking at the dollar value, mm -hmm. you know, in terms of where we spend our money, and if we collectively stop spending our money or or put it to a particular use that we wanted to, but the labeling of essential was such a uh, outcome from uh, from COVID, and it sounds like your you know, you were able to capture it in the documentary and, yes. and really yes. expose some of those kinds of thinking and looking. Yeah, and one of the things that we had the opportunity to do was get different sides mm -hmm. of, of the coin um, and, you know, different cultures, different backgrounds, different ethnicities, you know, be a, to be a part of this project because it's important to see it from a holistic point of view. Sure. Um, like the, the name of the show is Our World. We yeah. want to, we wanted to, you know, be a, a, have a good representation of our world and what we really feel and what how we review it. And you know, it's unfortunate that you know we're starting to spike again, right? Yes. Um, and so, you know, hopefully, you know, our our you know project or this movie that we're we should be debuting this year. Uh, we'll we'll shine some light on on you know just what it really is for for what it is, right. um, and cause people to to not just stand by but you know act and 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 you know be a a, a positive component to um, get over this situation. Yeah, being responsible. I love yes. it. Yeah, yes. yeah, that's great. Yeah. So what's next for you? Oh man, um, what's next? We're working on some TV projects, um, TV productions, and really you know looking to um, put our put our hands in the mix of that. Um, we are doing a spinoff of, um, of the More Than a Central project um, entitled Pastoring During the Pandemic. Um, okay. one, of, one of the things that we um, are very, very interested in is to see how this, um, the pandemic really um, um, affected the church, mm -hmm. you know, from from the shepherd standpoint, mm -hmm. um, and you know, because I'm, I'm sure that a lot of um, things that pastors went through, they can who are they going to talk to? Yes, right. you know, that's true. Um, because everybody goes to them, so who do they go to? That mm -hmm. part. And yeah. I think that if we will have a greater respect for our leaders, um, understanding their heart, right? I, the, the, the 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 film is not going to be political. You know, we're not trying to politicize, you know, this this particular film, but we really want to tap into the heart of the shepherd and, and what that looked like, you know, when you can't get to your sheep.
or what that looks like when you know, you're, you're ministering. You you and we're, we're dealing with the people that really have a heart for their members, members, right? A heart for the community. You know, what does that feel like when you can't touch them, when you can't get to them, and, they, and people are dying, and you know, families are you know uh, mourning, and you can't you know be around them. Um, and so really, really, uh, you know, provide, providing a, um, a platform for that. And um, we're, we're partnering with some amazing people. Uh, you know, uh, we're partnering with Epitome Magazine um, that we're really excited about their partnership to, to produce this, um, this, this particular um, project. Oh, good, good. At this time, I'd like to say you're listening to Our World, Our Power here on Our World Media Network. And let's continue this conversation. Now, LTL, I wanted to also find out, um, I know you've been doing this for a while. Mm -hmm. Is this the career that you always wanted to do? No, it actually isn't. I actually thought I was going to be a teacher. <laughs> well, you sort of are. <laughs> well, you are teaching, uh, yes, actually. Yes, you are yes, teaching. yes. I am. Um, I started off um, my first job was um so and and i'm from florida from gainesville florida shout out gainesville um i uh, my first job was working with the um, with the rec center i okay. had a summer job i was 14 um and the summer summer job program the lady that hired me she said she hired me because i was the only person that wore a suit <laughs> <laughs> um, and so and so it was it was um when I got out of high school, I actually had an opportunity to, she was working with the YMCA at that point, and she gave me my first professional job. I was 19 years old, and um, that was two years ago, of course. But no, um, she gave me my first job, um, professional job at the Y, um, as the um, um, recreation um, director. Mm -hmm. and oh, so nice. We, um, we developed a, so in, in, in Gainesville, they had, the city of Gainesville, and then they had the Alachua County, but there was no sports for the people that lived in between those two lines, right? And so we developed a sports program that grew from zero to 400, um, you know, young kids, you know, uh, playing soccer, baseball, and basketball um, within one year. So it was it was really cool. Oh, and, that's fantastic. And so I've, I've always had a heart for kids. I grew up in foster care. I know we was talking yeah. about that the other yeah. day. I grew yes. up in foster care. So, you know, and, and, and that's, a, that's a world in its own, right? You know, that kids are dealing with, you know, low, low self-esteem or sure. feeling not being wanted or valued or what have you. And so my heart really goes out to, to our community to really tap into the inner city. Um, one of the things I would love to do and that we are preparing to do is, um, you know, teach individuals how to look within themselves. And, you know, when we talk about the, the book Unidentified, it became more than just a marketing book. It, it became a, a, a theme for which we want to really pour on to people is how do you identify yourself? And identif unidentified, you know, should get you to a point where you're un unidentified no more, right? Because you know who you are. Mm -hmm. And I think identity starts with figuring out what your purpose is and why you are on this earth. Um, and so we do some deep diving in, into that. And I, I'm, I'm just so excited to, um, to be able to, you know, um, have this platform to, to dive into that, yeah. Uh, Tia, what would you say to a young person that wants to get into this field? Mm -hmm. What would your advice be? I would, I would really, um, and when you say this field, you're talking about the marketing, marketing and, and media. Marketing, media, everything, everything. I would, I would say um, get around it. Get around the space, you know, um, especially and start as young as you can. Oh, my goodness. What I would give to to know that this is where I would be when I was in the eighth grade. Right. Um, you know, because I could have I could have learned so much, so much more. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, and be so I, th I think be so far much more advanced. Um, I would say get around the industry. Right. Get go to sets, go to. Um, you know, productions and stuff like that, music videos. Um, but I'll also say get education. You know, um, learn how to, to not necessarily just have the creative thought process, but learn the mechanics on how to get it done. One of the things, the opportunities I had um, was, you know, as a producer, as a producer I, don't, I didn't always know what it was 
that I wanted the person to do or how to do what I want the person to do. I just know what I wanted you wanted to see, right? And so I had the opportunity to work with a company here in New York um, where I actually was on the crew for mm -hmm. about four or five years and was able to learn what an Edison is, learn how to wrap a cord, learn how to hang up a Lico, or her, learn how to, you know, um, set a camera stand up and stuff of that nature, um, tripods and stuff like that. And so I had the opportunity to work hands on. And, you know, that's another thing that you want to do as well. Um, you may not be, you know, an individual that well, is going to sit, you know, in the four year school or you know do a four-year degree True, right? not everybody um, does that but no. listen there is do not discount on the job training do not discount going and learning a trade do not discount that at all um, because they they are they are so vital to and especially in the creative world you know they're so vital you know to individuals that have that that mindset um, that want to just dive in you know Definitely do that. Full cell, you have your New York Film Academy. You have a lot of different things that you can tap into, and you should. You should. If this is something that you want to do, you want to make that investment in yourself and do so. I know you, we talked about, um, the last time I saw you, about mentoring mm -hmm. um, and, and teaching young people. Yes, uh, yes. Because I, I know we, we spoke about it because mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. sort of have the same vision yes. somewhere down the line. Yes, I don't know yes, when, yes. but, yeah. Yeah, we're, 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 gonna, we're going to do that as we get more into um, the filmmaking and um, opportunities that's coming left and right. Um, one of the things I want to do is a, is a um, film and, and television camp. Um, where we, you know, teach individuals different, t different facets of, you know, um, the film industry, the television industry, but also acting. You know, we'll have, you know, acting that's a part of that, um, that camp as well. Um, so we're really excited. We're really excited about the future, and and I just want to encourage, you know, individuals that have access and have this knowledge and information. Don't just hold it all to yourself, right? Um, and sometimes we can, you know. Be you know I don't, I don't want to say stubborn, but we can think that you know people don't respect it or people don't value what you bring to the table, but they do. Um, I think that if we create um, opportunities for people to to learn and, 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 and gain skills and knowledge, that we'll 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 we'll, we'll know we never know what you unleash or what you unlock. And I thank God for individuals that have been in my life, you know, growing up as a young man, um, and giving me an opportunity, teaching me the real ropes. Um, three individuals in particular, you know, that really took me under their wings and really taught me what it is to do what I'm doing now. And I would change, I would trade nothing for those experiences. Hey, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful story. Yeah. So how, how can folks get a hold of you? What, what's, what's your contact information? Call me! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can find me um, anywhere on social media, um, TL Homes Online. Online, okay. That's TL Homes Online on, on um, Instagram. I'm TL Homes Online, the number one. Um, you can also Google me and, you know, we'll come up. But definitely reach out to me, um, you know, um, myself, my team, you know, we'll get back in contact with you um, immediately. You know, if you have questions, if you need a consultation, feel free to um, hit us up and, you know, we'll, we'll make that connection somehow. Okay. Now, Glenn, how can people follow you? Well, they can get me at Sutphin Boulevard Business Improvement District, 718-291-2110, and uh, remind folks that we have uh, concerts in front of the Supreme Court coming up on Fridays, the uh, month of, Fri of August, uh, from 1 to 2, and September 18th, we have the Sutphin Boulevard Harvest Festival, um, it's going to be all day. We're shutting down Suffern Boulevard from Hillside to Jamaica Avenue. So uh, we're looking to uh, crank that back up. All right. That sounds great. That sounds like a hot summer. And what about the Harvest Festival? That's that's September 18th. Oh, you did say that, yes. didn't you? Yes, you did. Yes. September 18th. So okay. All we're right. We're looking forward to it. This will be our fourth annual. And uh, we've had uh, 10,000 people and 100 vendors. 
the last three times so we're hoping to crank that back up again and uh everybody's coming out so let's uh have a good time yeah and as a matter of fact our world is going to be there yes they yes, are yes we are i just want the audience to know that and you'll be able to see uh everybody live you know matter Absolutely. of fact our world media you'll be able to see it be heard talk and talk tech with swift is going to be there who is the producer of uh all the shows and uh, he has a lot of information. He loves to share his information about tech and, 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 and the knowledge that he has. So uh, don't forget to listen to us here every Saturday from 4 to 5, Our World, Our Power. Thank you all, guys.